Hey, Lady Fash, it's the 21st of November 2019. As usual, there are a multitude of things we could talk about. Israel, the economy, but I had to share this with you because it's pretty cool, actually. And when I was looking for some images, this came up. You guys remember that guy that put out the video about the new healthy chemtrails? You know, this is what's going on. It hasn't stopped. It hasn't slowed down. But I was out today doing some things, and I stopped in to see Steve. Some of you may remember me talking about Steve. 77-year-old Steve, the non-believer with the B-17s and so on and so forth. Well, I was over Steve's helping him out with a couple things today. And I looked out over his property, and the most flagrant blatant display of chemtrailing a whole fleet of them there's one two six three four five those six. two intersected yep and this is what they've left you see that that's what they've left for us as a happy treat a nice healthy treat i'm sure you read about like the ho chi minh trail and stuff when they seeded the clouds and oh, yeah. Well, they've gone a long way, Steve, in 50 years. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having a ball. It's completely abnormal. It is something that should not be occurring in a normal society, right? But there it is. And it gave me an opportunity to talk to Steve about the reality of this world and the fact that we need a savior, that no man is going to fix this. It's just not going to happen that only Jesus can do that. Now, he didn't say he believes or anything of that nature, but I wanted to share this with you because no matter where you are or what you're doing, you just never know what opportunities are going to pop up, you know, to be able to help someone open their eyes. And that's all we're here for. Plant and water seeds, man. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. This is pretty cool. You better talk to me type thing, but Steve, they, they throw fits. Before, I'll talk to you about anything you want, but before we continue, is this the first time you've ever, like, witnessed this and grasped what it is you're yep. looking at? That you, this is the first time you ever experienced chemtrails? Maybe I've seen them before and didn't think anything about them. But are you, are, are you becoming, like, familiar with what I'm trying to tell you, at least? That, well, that this is an ongoing thing. Well, let's put it this way, Keith. I thought you were a little paranoid before. Yeah. I am not at all <laughs> sure that's the case anymore. Well, I appreciate that. That means a lot to me, Steve. I wouldn't lie to you. Just the craziness of what the things I tell you, you know, as scary as it is, the truth does set you free, Steve. That's all I could tell you, brother. So, Steve is now quite aware of... You know, a great many things that I've talked to him about. And now, as you heard, he doesn't think I'm quite so crazy anymore. So, never give up. Jesus truly does save. Peace of grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 